Hey guys, it's Rainy. So today I thought I would share with you how to make this triple hearts fondant cupcake toppers. Really easy to make. I'm going to be using some fondant. I previously colored them. So for the first one, I used a lot less than a drop of pink food coloring. Just barely any food coloring on that piece of fondant and you don't need that much fondant at all. Then for this one, I'm using a bit more pink food coloring, like a drop. For this one, a bit more and so on and so forth. I didn't actually use the last one because I didn't really like the color. I usually just pre-color my fondant the day before just so the color has time to set and get as pigmented as it will be. And then I go ahead and wrap it on some like clean back. I'm going to be using my roller. I'm going to be using a mini a heart shaped cookie cutter then some toothpicks so yeah, i'm just gonna roll my fondant and just roll it as thick or as thin as you want them to be but just remember the thinner they are they might break easier the thicker your shape is the longer it will take to dry then i'm going to be using my cookie cutter i'm just going to cut a few hearts there what i usually do is like with the leftover i roll it again and cut out as many like shapes as i can just so that you don't have a lot of like fondant waste because the fondant can get really pricey my you know hard cookie cutter is like from a local brand so it's, it's good but it's not like the best one so it gives me like rough edges and i just go ahead and smooth the whole thing but yeah i just want to share this piece of information just in case you have like the same issues i'm going to be placing my my darkest heart on the bottom then adding some water the um, medium to lighter color on top then on top of that the lightest one before the dress i'm going to be putting my toothpick uh, just so that i can place it on my cupcake a suggestion that i have for you though after doing this and for like cupcake toppers is when you're working with a toothpick just uh, add the toothpick into your like font and figure don't do it on top as i did here because it's going to be like right on top and it's going to be like pretty easy to break and then do it right after you're done shaping your fondant because it's going to be like super soft it may ruin the shape fondant gets pretty soft and flexible while you're working with it but when you stop working with it and air touches it it starts to harden and so I'm just going to let it dry. Once that's done, I'm going to be removing it from the wax paper. These are some like store-bought cupcakes decorated, but I wanted to show with you how to decorate them even more or how to add some like details or uh, toppers to your cupcakes to just add something else. And this is pretty much the idea that I want to share with you. But yeah, hopefully you like this. If you celebrate Valentine's, happy day to you. If you don't, I hope you like this anyways. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more cupcakes and desserts that I have on my channel and subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this and share this but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye